We're here at Don't Ever Bank Care Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida. Come here for the retirement. Stay here for the drive through funeral services. Getting buried has never been so quick and easy. I wouldn't mind taking a dirt nap here. Although my dream for years has been to be soaked in rum, then thrown into a volcano. <laughs> I like the idea of going out with a bang. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Diamond Krakens battle. The Cracksome Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. There was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll bring up third down and seven. It's a glitterception! Watch that! Grim. A fabulous interception. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe off. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down, and the punter is warming up. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage on in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> 
First and four. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and five. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. It looks like we've got a penalty here. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. First down and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how much throw it. He could go all the way. The 30. He's running out of gas now. He's at the 10. Holy yeah, you got to stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. Just slows the game down. <laughs> 
Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip word. No doubt about it. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And they'll bring him third down and seven. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great fit. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. Blew up and he's on fire. And they brought him to a dead stop, literally. Oh, man. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the 30. The 20. He might catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I tell you, I know, I hate those zebra men. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First down and less than eight. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well,
offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Second down and more. Look out, that's an all-out attack. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Ah, uh, this is just horrible to watch. It looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him. He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeting. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. First and four. Whoa. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. Second down and long. Third down and, well, good luck. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And 
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a creep. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he look original or rough? He's rumbling and stumbling. He could. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, mama. Just call him. He stepped on a pop that but blew out his flip flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away in the new film. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. They could not connect on that play. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we? Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You know. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He had it for a second there. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense has only one quarterback left. 
If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull Crap and Vodka Jello shot day. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...